My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today uh, it will be the third and probably last for now about uh, episode about um, multi-layer maps. So this time we will mm, do a more complicated example with uh, an outside map. So it looks like this with this castle here. It's, it comes from our project Children of Solaris, if you want to know. And the concepts will be very similar to uh, the case of dungeons, but it's just more complicated because the tilesets of uh, outside maps are usually more complicated. Um, all these cliffs have uh, a lot of different different possible configurations and yeah pretty much everything is possible and sometimes you have to be creative to make your layers uh, work as expected so we'll try to in this episode to um, turn this map in a multi-layer map uh, yeah and the cool thing about this episode is it comes from uh, an actual project so right now this map has almost only one layer. Everything is on the same layer except the three leaves. But that's not really gonna help about our bridges here. Uh, we have uh, four bridges in this map and the idea will be pretty much the same as for uh, dungeon maps. We want to be able to cross the bridge uh, from above or from below so if I test this map where is my game window okay I think I double clicked so I stopped it accidentally um, okay so everything is great I can work on that bridge and on that bridge as well but what happens as soon as I try to walk in the water here, I'm actually above this bridge, so my sword doesn't look correct here. And the bridge itself is an obstacle, I cannot traverse below the bridge. And that is because Solaris doesn't know that it's a bridge, it's just some tiles that are on the same layer as the hero. And same here, it's even worse because not only I cannot traverse the bridge, but I'm also displayed above the tiles, so it's really, really strange. Um, okay, I want this destination to be the default one just for my tests. I also want to show you what is happening here. We don't have a bridge here on the north part of the map, but we have the the walls of the castle and right now same problem they are an obstacle and I am displayed above them so layers will help us in this map we want to keep the water the little stones here and the base of the cliffs on the lower layer so layer 0 but we want, um, uh, yeah, we want pretty much all the rest, including the, the bridges and uh, the whole island itself, to be on layer one. So all of this will, will all of this, all of this, all of this will be on layer one, and the the tree, the top, top of trees here will be on layer two. And yeah, then you have to decide where is, uh, where is where is the frontier between both your layers. So you can say we we will say for example that these will be on layer zero and these on layer one because we want this to be an obstacle for the player when he is on the on layer one here. But uh, we see that there is a very slight problem with that, that approach. And yeah, I, I want to show you the, the first example. 
So okay, all of these will be as we just said on layer one. So we select, we put them to layer one, um, and the bridge as well. Layer one. Okay, that's looking good. And when you do these sort of operations, always check your layers here. So right now I'm only showing layer zero. So you can guess what is the problem. <laughs> the problem will be that this will be a wall, very good for layer zero, but the hero will be able to move below the whole island. So I don't want the whole island to be a bridge. I just want the bridge part here to be a bridge. Uh, so how to fix that? Uh, it's it's quite easy. There are f multiple approaches, but first I I want to to test it. Uh, I, let's just move the destination. Layer zero. Okay. I want to start from here. So okay, I can move below my bridge. But the problem is, I, is that I can also move below the island and only this part here is, is blocking. So this is quite specific to this kind of tile set. It's the fact that only the, the south part of uh, cliffs actually exist on layer zero, but we would want this part here to be present on both layers and to block the hero on both layers. So one solution to achieve that is to actually literally put it on both layers. So right now these are on layer one. I will just do copy paste, put these again at the exact same place and do one layer down and boom, that's it. I check layer zero now. I have these walls that will block the hero. As expected. And always check your changes. Okay, good. This time I cannot go below the island, but I can still walk below the bridge. So this is correct. Okay. So all of these tiles, these border tiles that I just added and that are copy pasted from layer one, um, they will actually never be visible because the one we see on the screen are, are the one on top, the one from, layers, from layer one. But so uh, you could actually in theory put any kind of tiles here, but uh, first uh, there are transparency issues. So you don't want a blocker tile that would uh, hide the corner of your tile here, uh, if that makes sense. You could use uh, these entities, these are just invisible walls, so it would be possible to to put these walls on layer zero like that. But I find it quite handy to just copy paste the same uh, cliffs so that you don't have to resize anything, you you already have the correct shape. So yeah, we literally uh, copied the same ties on both layers because we want the borders to be blockers on both layers. So that's the basic idea. Okay, so right now we handle this part, but this map is quite big. We want to do the same for basically the whole map, so let's go. Um, I will be, I will make some big selections here. It's a, it's always a bit tricky because I don't want to select too much. Here I selected too many stones here, so I can press Ctrl or Shift to handle multiple selection like that. But I selected too many entities. Okay, this looks quite good. All right, and then right click any of them and do one layer up. 
Okay. Uh, so this part is now above the bridge, which is quite normal because I didn't update the bridge yet. We can we can immediately do the same for the bridge. I think this should be correct. One layer up. Okay. Check. Let's check layer zero to see if anything was forgotten. Nope, I have everything I needed. Let's check layer one. Make sure that uh, nothing was put here when it should not. I don't see anything suspicious. So that's looking good. Okay, now same operation. Oh, oh yeah, I see something suspicious here. Is that this part should be uh, below the top part of the bridge. So I can select this and do bring to back. So I'm not changing the layer, I'm just changing the ordering of ties on that. But uh, yeah, keeping them on the same layer. Okay. Does it look good? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, and here the grass is on top of the left. Nope. Okay. There is no... I mean, there is a missing tile here. Where, where is it? I don't see it. Maybe it was missing already when, when we started. I don't know. I'm just seeing this now. Uh, okay. So let's look for it in the tile set. I guess it should be this one. You can put it like that. On layer one, okay. Yeah, something is... Okay, I understand now. Yeah, I moved them twice. Okay, sorry about that, I will just... Cancel, undo, undo. Okay, sorry. Layer 2 was hidden, so that, that's why uh, I thought some tiles were missing. They were not missing, they were just on the wrong layer. Because I moved them twice. Okay. Yeah, and we have the same problem here. That's why it was looking strange. Okay. So it's always tricky, especially with outside maps, but with some practice, uh, anyone can do it. All right. So again, let's try, let's check uh, layer zero, layer one, layer two. There should be just nothing on layer two for now. Uh, yeah, that's correct. So the next step is to update the borders here, so I'm gonna need to select them all just to do the same operation. Make sure the hero cannot traverse... Uh, yeah, cannot walk below the island. Oops. So I don't really need to do it for these ones here, the the south ones. But just for consistency, I like to still do it. But really, it's it's your choice. Oops, I I did one layer up. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to copy paste, and then one layer down. And this time, our layer zero is almost finished. Um, yeah. I guess I forgot one corner tile here. So I'm just checking that everything is closed so that the hero cannot walk under the castle. And here he can. That's because, yeah, we had these walls here, the castle itself. But on layer zero, we don't want the hero to traverse, of course, here. So let's just fill the gap somehow. Yeah, and here the the tile in my initial map was actually a little bit too much to the right. 
Okay. Yeah, it was like this. So the corner here was was not looking good due to transparency. It should have been like that. Anyway, that's really just a detail, not related to to layers. Okay, so we have our bridge, we have these islands here. Uh, if we want to be really consistent, we should do the same for this, even though the hero cannot traverse them. So it's your choice. Um, but yeah, I want to finish this part here because we still have two bridges. So, okay, I will select all of this. So I'm making really a wide selection because I could also do small steps like this, but to make sure that I don't accidentally select these little stones here, that I don't want to move one layer up. But if you do that, you will probably miss uh, some of the bigger tiles because this one is actually this one is actually quite big uh, and it, it's funny because this one is even below the water here so as you can guess we will have a problem when we move it one layer up but uh, yeah you will see what happens so okay I'm making a really wide a really big selection and just removing the extra stuff I think it's easier that way because when I I just recorded the same tutorial in French uh, a few minutes ago and had a lot of problems because uh, some tiles were missing. I think it's better to have too much rather than um, missing tiles. I mean, it's easier to fix when you have too much. Okay, let's start by that. One layer up. Cool. Let's check what happened. Uh, looks like I still missed. Yeah, I missed the green part here, but th that's normal because it's it's huge. It actually covers both regions here. So yeah, I'm missing some grass. Um, obviously, if you take it and you move it one layer up. Uh, there is no way to keep it like this because it, it will inevitably cover the uh, the water here now that it's one layer up so it doesn't make sense to have some grass uh, below the the water anymore that's not possible anymore like it was uh, okay so yeah Let, let's still Move it one layer up, but just resize it. Uh, probably, probably like that should be good. And put it to the back. Yeah, but obviously I haven't moved all the rest just yet. Uh, yeah, I, I just I will just delete it for now because it's too much trouble. Okay, let's finish this part here. So I need to add some grass to to fill the yeah the th the south part of the map here. Like I said, I removed the grass because it was too big. So I have to to make some new tiles. I think this should be good. Now I want to select all the ones that I just pasted and move them to the back. So that's layer two, that's layer one. Oops, as you can see, I selected too much. Layer zero, please. And that's layer zero. Okay. And now same stuff, we need to uh, put some borders also on layer 0, otherwise 
the hero will be able to walk here under the platforms. And something to notice is that in this particular map, uh, this border does not continue here. So the problem will will be clear when I do my usual copy paste. There will be a gap. Oops, not that. So outside tile sets are significantly more complicated than inside the tile sets most of the time. But yeah, it just requires some some practice. Uh, okay, sorry, copy paste and one layer down. All right, and now if I check my layer zero, <clears throat> you can see that there is still some gap here. So the the hero will be able to walk under the bridge, but also to move to go to the south under the grass here. That would be an interesting glitch, but we don't want that. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. And actually, we will have the same problem for the north part here. So probably even before I move uh, all of this one layer up, I can just update my my cliffs like that. And like that. Okay. And then we are almost done. I um, guess we can make the grass first. Layer zero for now. Okay, and then select all of this. And yeah, I need to be careful again. This one I think was already moved to layer one. So let's let's start over. Don't take these ones. If you want to be really sure, you can just hide layer one. But yeah, it's a little bit tricky because you still want the <laughs> the top of the trees here to be moved one layer up. Okay, so I will keep everything displayed, but just make sure that I don't take these guys. Okay, that part as well. Uh, same problem here, this was already done. Um, you can take these ones if you want. Doesn't matter that much. Uh, and all of these ones also. One layer up. So this one was moved above the bridge here, so let's just bring it to the back and we should be good. Same problem here. Yeah. I think this is looking quite good. Uh, yeah. Same stuff, I need to close <laughs> layer zero here. So I will copy paste my small border tiles once again. Copy paste at the same place. Oops. And one layer down. All right, let's check layer zero. Something is missing here. Okay. Now I think I accidentally recites recite something. Let's just undo, undo. Okay. So I'm I did Ctrl Z to get back to that state. I think I accidentally accidentally resized my tiles. So one layer down again. Yeah, this time it's quite good. There is a little missing tile here, but yeah, it it was still on layer one. Let's put it on layer zero. And now I have some missing grass tiles. 
layer one, okay. That should be quite good now. Okay, one more check, layer zero. Ah, this part is missing here, I forgot. I got these little guys. Copy, oops, paste, and one layer down, okay. So, layer zero, everything looks good. Layer one, and layer two, only three leaves, and what is that? Okay, this guy was also accidentally moved twice. So I just fixed it. Okay, so back to layer zero. I, as I said, I haven't moved these tiles here. You can do it for consistent, consistency if you want. And the last things to do is, well, first we should always test what we changed. <laughs> we can walk, check that we can walk correctly under all the bridges. Yeah, that looks better. Also, I don't remember if I really tested what I did here, but I'll be able to be below the castle tiles, but not to walk to the south. So that was correct. And finally, my last two bridges here. And oops, something was wrong at the on the right side of the map. Yeah, actually, I don't know why the map is so big. Yeah, the size of of this map is quite wrong. I, it should it's supposed to stop uh, here. But that's really not related to. To the topic here, okay. I don't know why the, why the map was too big. Anyway, uh, I think this is correct now. And the last thing that remains is to allow the hero to move from from one layer to the other. Uh, for instance, from using these stairs here. So we can use a stairs entity like we did in the outside map here, in, in this dungeon map here. Uh, yeah, so you want to put it on layer zero and to make some tests so that it be, it behaves correctly. So this the subtype should be platform stairs inside the same map because it's not stairs that would teletransport the hero to another map. And direction should be up because we are uh, climbing to the north, okay? So like this. And this is a, a built-in entity that will give very similar behavior to Zelda Link to the Past. Um, maybe this is okay for you, maybe not. If it's not okay for you, you will need some scripts to achieve, uh, yeah, to customize better what, what you want to do. But we will learn that in future tutorials. For now, we will just use this, uh, yeah, this stairs entity because it's easy. So one slight problem is that if I'm not perfectly aligned with the stairs, I'm stuck here. So one thing you can do, and it's the same from above. One thing you can do is add some invisible walls to force the hero to keep correct alignment to guide the hero, if you will. So these two ones here are on layer one, and these oops, two, two here are on layer zero. Zero and one. Notice that the stairs itself is on layer zero. It's kind of a special entity because even if it's on layer zero, it will detect the hero when the hero comes from the north, from layer one. 
some specific entities sometimes have this special power of deta detecting collision with entities that are also on other layers. Okay, so now my stairs behave good. And the last thing we want to do is here, we want to add a jumper so that the hero will not simply fall inside uh, fall to the from the from layer one to layer zero and end up stuck in this wall so it's really important to put something like a jumper here so you want to state that the direction of the jump is to the south and the jumping distance should be so we don't know for sure so we can use any tile to measure the, the distance so including 16 pixels from the hero himself it will be this distance this height so double click and see the size of the of this pattern of this tile it's 64 okay so i will delete this temporary tile and uh, set the jump length here to 64 pixels and obviously we want to test it so let's move the destination here and i don't see it anymore because i'm on layer zero so the destination itself also has a layer and let's put it on layer one and it doesn't work yeah i <laughs> i didn't do this on purpose but i made a very typical mistake um the jumper is on layer zero so it would make the hero jump if the hero was here but that's not possible the, la the um, jumper should be on the layer from where you want to jump okay and now it works so don't forget to always test everything you do If I check layer one here, uh, I can visually make sure that my layer is closed. That is, there is no place from where to to fall on layer zero. So, for example, when my jumper was in the wrong layer, I could have seen it. If I had done that check, I could see that here there is nothing. So that's wrong. Here there is also. Uh, nothing, but actually we know that we have the stairs and that stairs have this special power of working from both layers. Um, yeah. so, oops, let's fix it again. Layer one and we are good. Okay, so this was a more advanced example. Uh, outside map are often quite complicated. Um, I hope you have a better understanding of layers. There are a lot of ways to implement your multi-layer systems. Um, you could also decide to keep your entire map on layer zero and to just make the bridge temporarily go uh, one layer above. It's really your choice. It also depends on the maps probably and on the tile sets. Um, but to do that, um, we would need some script, definitely, to make the hero change his layer when, when walking here or here. Um, we don't have specific entities that do exactly that. Yeah, we have some for, for stairs and we have jumpers, but uh, here it's, it's pure customization, uh, I would say. Okay, uh, if you have any question, please join our Discord and we will help. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.